Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And like I said, we are going to do a trade day, like I said. And I took some of your suggestions from the comm box below from the last video. And uh, I bought a lot of players with my coins. And I sold a lot of stuff from my collection as well. And we have 21 active players right now in our trade block. So it's going to be a pretty crazy trade day. And there are a lot of high-end players to low-end players. So everybody can participate in this trade day. Anyways, my team name is Lamb Chops. And you finally get to see how my uh, active auctions kind of page looks like. Look at that, 10,193 items sold. I know it's a little glitched out, but I've sold a lot of items in my time in NHL 15. And finally, we get to sell some more items, I guess. 21 more. Come on, let's see what we get for these trade offers. Let's get right into it. Alright, so the first player here is Rick Nash. 88 overall left wing power forward on the New York Rangers. Like you guys know, and he's going for around 20,000. And uh, moving on to Chris Letang, 88 overall, right defenseman, two-way defenseman, and he's worth about 10k as well. And you can find him on the Pittsburgh Penguins, Chris Letang. And I am on Xbox One, if you don't exactly remember what console I'm playing on. Team name is Lamb Chops if you want to send in trades, and we'll keep on moving here. So, uh, a lot of people were saying that they wanted to see some lower-end players as well, so I decided to go out and buy some of the new Team of the Week players that just came out, the Unsung Heroes. And uh, they aren't too expensive, so I decided to go out and buy a couple. And you can see here, Sean Monahan, 86 overall, uh, worth about 25k. Center two-way forward on the Calgary Flames. Uh, he is up for 25k. Going on to Gustav Nyquist on the Detroit Red Wings, worth about 15,000 as well. Uh, moving on to Alexander Edler. Actually, a player I wasn't going to buy, but looking at his stats, 90 skating, 88 shot, 89 hands. And he is 6'3", 215 pounds for only 25k. I thought, you know what, let's take a shot at him and give him a go and see if uh, anybody wants to send in a trade for him. Moving on, JVR, the new one that just came out, 88 overall. Uh, I bought him for about 45k, so I re-put him up for 45k as well. Uh, I'm not looking to make too much money off the smaller end cards. Uh, it's more of the higher end cards where I put it just a little bit more because of taxes and stuff. And I don't want to lose too much money on taxes, right? But we'll see what happens. Going on to Kyle Turris, 88 overall. Center playmaker. Uh, he also has some very sick stats as well. And he's only worth about 20k. And we do have a trade offer on him. I will quickly check before we go on. Just the gold contract. Yeah, people are already knowing that I'm putting up cards. It's only, only been about 20 minutes. Going on, Patrick Kane, 89 overall. A lot of guys were saying that they want to see a Stanley Cup edition Kane, but... Really, I cannot afford him at this point, or this trade day would have not been possible. So I decided just to stick with this base card, and there's not too many in the market from what I bought him for. Uh, there were only two in the market from what I saw, so I decided just to pick one up, throw him onto the market, and we'll see if we can get any trades for Patrick Kane. Moving on, the cheat code, Ben Bishop, 91 overall, definitely one of the better goalies in this game. If you want to pick him up, he is worth about 200k right now, and I think I uh, priced him pretty fairly as well. And you can find him on the Tampa Bay Lightning, 6'7", 214 or 240, yeah, 214 pound goalie. Definitely not too bad. And moving on to Evgeny Malkin, like you guys know, just a solid player and he is Russian. Uh, and yeah, we'll have another Russian later in this trade block. But uh, 92 overall center playmaker on the Pittsburgh Penguins. Definitely a player that you might want to pick up for your team because he is a pretty solid player. Moving on. Oh, I need to take a breath here. Martin St. Louis. Also on the team of the week, 92 overall, right wing playmaker. Bought him for just about 110k, and I decided to price him just a little bit lower because I know his price is going to drop. But instead of you know picking up some other Stanley Cup card that might be uh, dropping in value, might as well pick up Martin St. Louis and uh, see how many New York Ranger fans there are that want to send a trade to Martin St. Louis. Going on to Marion Hosa, 95 overall, as well as Victor Hedman. The guys that won my giveaway, uh, my giveaway, the 2 million coin giveaway, they still need to contact me, so you might want to check your YouTube inboxes of everybody. I don't want to say their usernames because it's really easy to get scammed that way. Um, for the giveaway winners, I still have your Marion Hosa and Victor Hedman. I will send them a bit later once you send me a message back, but for the meantime, I'm going to throw them up on the trade block. And we're going to see if we can get any trades for these guys. So, I threw up Marion Hosa for 275,000 coins. As well as Victor Hedman. Uh, I threw him up for 200,000 coins. And like I said, once the giveaway winners message me back, I can finally give those guys away. Alright, so, I already gave away the Shankirk and Ben Bishop as well. So, uh, I am doing the giveaway still. But yeah, anyways, we're moving on to Yakov Voracek. 
he is one of the players that I did really enjoy playing on my team, and I decided to pick him up anyways because it was pretty cheap, 275k, and look at those stats. 96 skating, 97 shot, 97 hands, that is absolutely amazing, and he is play he's a team of the year card if you want to pick him up. He is on the Philadelphia Flyers if you want to find him. Next up, Phil the Thrill Kessel. So many players. Now, we actually got this from EA, but I know a lot of people were interested in getting Phil Kessel, and instead of just giving giving it away, uh, having a really, really hard chance of getting him, I decided to throw him up on the trade block and seeing how many trade offers we get for Phil Kessel because he's the new one that just came out. And then we're going to move on after that to Alexander Ovechkin. Uh, I don't remember how many times this was requested, but I did pick up an Alexander Ovechkin for this trade day just for those guys that asked. So he's up for 500000 start price and definitely one of my most expensive players on this trade block. Then we're moving on to just some items I had left in my trade block. And as you can see here, Marty Hansel up for 20 k uh, I'm pretty sure he's the only Team of the Week version left of him, so I thought, you know what, I'm not going to use him anytime soon. Let's just get rid of him. As well as Nikolai Ehlers, we got Merkley as well, all up for 10k start price. DeKaiser, Danny DeKaiser, as well as Smith, the goalie, on the Brampton Battalions. Anyways, that is just about it for this trade day. Oh man, I need a break for this, after this little uh, stunt. Alright, let's check the trade offer for Kyle Turris. See if it's a good trade offer. 15.5k! Alright, so you guys have a little bit of competition for anybody that wants Kyle Turris. But that is just about it for this trade block. Like I said, my team name is Lamb Chops if you want to send in a trade. And I will be checking the trades at around 10 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you don't have too much time. But I want to pump out this video by tonight uh, so that we can start up Hot Roulette tomorrow. Anyway, that is about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Send some trades in. And I will try to be as fair as possible checking those trades. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Go Sharp, go Sharp. Beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him. Nope. There it is! Tyler Sagan! What a goal! I knew he was chasing me from behind, but I decided to stick out the stick just a little bit farther and give it a pass. I knew he was gonna hope for the shot, but Tyler Sagan does make